In this video, you'll learn how to back stitch and long stitch. Hey there, this is Sarah with Notorious Needle bringing you radical cross stitch design. In this video, you'll learn how to back stitch and long stitch for most types of embroidery. Back stitch is primarily used for outline and fine details. So here you can see in this poop emoji pattern, I finished all of the cross stitches, including all of the fractional stitches, and I've already done some back stitch for the details in the face. Okay, for back stitch, I've already started my thread. I've come up through the eight o'clock and I'm going to go down by one square. Oops, got a little stuck there. I am going to come up one fabric square away and then go back down backwards one square. Again you come up by skipping ahead one and you go back down. Again, skip ahead one, and go back down one. For a quarter stitch, you just back stitch over it in a diagonal. Now I'm going to continue around as the pattern calls to do outline all the way around my little poop emoji. And here's the completed poop emoji. <laughs> it's pretty cute. I really like it. Anyway, you can see the finished outline, the back stitch, has made the pattern really pop. Uh, I really like it. In addition to back stitch, I promised you long stitch. So long stitch is done pretty much the same way as back stitch, um, except each stitch can cover more than one fabric square. That's pretty much it. If you want to learn more about how to cross stitch, check out the rest of my cross stitch for beginners playlist. And if you'd like a free copy of this poop emoji pattern, check out the description below. Thanks and stitch on!